Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 16 of Devil May Cry 4. Now, in this episode, I changed the suit of Dante as we have multiple outfits for Dante. Now, before we do get into this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. So, some gas has been released, so let's see what's happened. So we have an old school looking Dante, a poisonous gas per permeates the air, your life is in danger. Uh, we can sort that out in two seconds, there's no rush for us. Oh, we're going to have to fight these bloody sharks again that I really hate fighting. The trick with Dante is to keep shooting and eventually one will pop out the floor like that and you just finish him off. As I told you before, the sharks are one of my most hated ones. I'm sure I'll say that about every demon, but... So I thought, why not let's get to the end of the tunnel, where we have to go anywhere, and just finish them off there, so we can continue on quite quickly. And there we go, look at that. My man come to try and save his boy, but it was too late as I just finished him off. Now we have one shark left to finish. And there you go. I caught you lacking and time for you to get finished. Now we get to go play in the uh, Monopoly again as we played last time. The Life or Death Monopoly or Ludo as you call it. Oh, he cut the dice in half. He just broke the game in half. So I'm guessing we have to fight the swords. So with Dante, you use the shotgun, uh, which which uh, disables the sword, and then when you get close, you can try and finish them off, which is what I tried to do, while trying to avoid the hundred other swords that were flying around. I think I did quite well trying to avoid... Uh, a lot of the swords, I didn't get hit much. There we go. Let's use the Yamato. Now, the only reason I have Yamato unlocked is because I have completed this game before uh, a few years back. Shotgun time and time to finish you off. Oh, and these stupid knights are here as well. So we have to deal with the swords and the knights. There we go. And three, oh, one just left. But we got, I think we've got three left to fight. And we just avoided one, that one just barely. Last one left. Time to finish you off. And I think that's all of them. Yes, we just destroyed them all. Through the window we go. So let's go up the stairs and uh, through the, I think the room that Nero finds the uh, fake knights, where they make the fake knights.
time to fight you guys, but man will slap you up in two seconds. There we go, shield down, and now you're dead. Get a few Muay Thai kicks to the head. Time to finish you off. There we go, Muay Thai kick. I really enjoyed using the box as he fires rockets. There we go, and you're dead. And up the stairs we go, and I think through the little gap, which is right there. There we go. And there we go. Oh, no, we can't exit because we have to fight some more demons. Well, demons, but they're basically demon knights. Yep, let's go. Two of you. Let's go. Get Muay Thai kick to your face. Oh, we got some free gems. Gems? Some free orbs. Because he hit me over here, so he did a two in one for me. But I still have to finish you off. Sidestep, punch. Oh, the annoying one is here. He's that person that nobody likes, but he still tries to force his way in. Come on, then. G, let's go. Muay Thai kick to your face. You can block all you like. The moment I find that weakness, I'm gonna Muay Thai kick to your face and rock you. That's it. Muay Thai kick to your face and you're dead. Now let's get out of this place. There we go, we got rid of the gas. I think we have to leave this place to go back into the mine shafts if I'm not mistaken onto these jumping pads and are we almost out one more left and there we go we have made it out Oh, we are underneath the uh, grand hall that uh, Nero found before where we broke into that guy's face. Uh, when we used the chandelier to break the wall open. There we go. And all the ice is now gone. Let's leave. I was trying to see if the chandelier was still in place, but obviously Nero broke it. So we couldn't go back onto the seesaw ride again. I don't know why I was running to, into the random wall. Let's go. Let's go back into the IT mountains. Oh, what are these? It looks like dogs. Fire in their belly and mouths, I think. Oh, so these look like hellhounds. I don't know if that's the official term for them, but that's what I'm going to call them anyway. Hellhounds. All right. Come on. Let's go. Time to destroy you. Time to fight fire. With fire. There we go. Like I said, time to fight fire with fire. Take a rocket to your face. Uh, just to let you know, no animals were harmed uh, during this episode. There you go, down you go, down you go. 
I just kept spamming the uh, suitcase which destroyed them quite quickly really. Uh, using the sword was not really effective against them for some reason. And there we go, all destroyed. Now time to leave this place. Now there are the stairs on the right. It took me a second to work out, but I finally worked it out. It was over here, and I was going the wrong to the wrong side. But hey, it takes time. Up we go, double jump. Double jump. And I almost fell off the edge. I don't think I could fall off the edge, but still, I didn't want to risk it. And these stupid hellhounds are back. But time to rocket launch them again. Oh, and he got me from behind. Sneaky dog. As they say, sly dog. The best way to destroy these dogs are to use the uh, rocket from the Pandora's box. Like I said in the last episode, you learn what abilities and what um, weapons to use against certain uh, demons. Now these demons are very weak to the uh, Pandora's rockets. But obviously, the more you play the game yourself, the more you will uh, familiar yourself with what works good with what demons. We are in the second mining area uh, where we had the wire bound systems and we had to try and uh, we'll make our way up. As I say, we are going down now and back again see so if that was a real roller coaster ride I'm sure that'd be really fun not wish you would have noticed me earlier now my coat is all charred time to destroy you as last time you also ran away like a coward from Nero I was just doing my best to stay away from him, uh, use my uh, gun for long shot range and when I could get close to his legs without wood and tack, um, just hitting his legs and then using my demon mode to get as many big hits on, the, uh, on him. But I think he, wa yes, he wakes back up so I had to try and uh, remake him unconscious. I just try to avoid as much of his attacks and get a good few hits and there we go. We finally got rid of him. You surpass my abilities. How shameful. You can stay and die. Or you can walk your ugly ass back through that gate. It's your call, pal. <laughs> I retreated once and will not do so again. Let's go then. Goodbye. I was hoping for a bit more than just a few sparks. There we go, and there is the last hell gate that we have to destroy. Mm. 
we destroyed the first one uh, with a Bruce Lee punch, a one inch punch. We destroyed the second one with a rocket. I can hear some salsa music. Dante. Is he gonna just salsa his way through? Next thing you know, I'm saying, Ole! I wonder what he's making. Oh, made a. Uh, ooh, he's got a rose in his mouth. You're all satisfied. You are set free. What a way to destroy the Hellgates. So big from where I'm standing. Yep, we will destroy him. Yeah, just you and me, Mr. Savior. Yep, Mr. Old Giza. So this is the uh, Lucifer that we can use, which uh, throws uh, piercing blades around. Now let's go and leave this wet place. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, if you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them below. And Goodbye, my deleted gamers.